Welcome to the program. I'm Mark Imperial. This segment's being brought to you by booksgrowbusiness.com. It's the place where busy entrepreneurs, professionals, and business owners publish to grow their businesses and to leave a legacy. We're doing a series of spotlights on remarkable experts across the country and in your town. Joining me on this segment is Alicia Clark, and she's the founder of Alicia Clark Funding, LLC. Alicia, welcome to the program. Thank you. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. Thank you for having me. Alicia, tell us a little bit about your work and specifically the types of folks that you help. Uh, well, we at Alicia Clark Funding, LLC, we help entrepreneurs and business owners with access to capital across the United States and even internationally as well. Um, when I was, what actually started my journey, my why, why I'm in this industry. Uh, when I was younger, I, I grew up in a church. My dad was a minister. And I remember reading a Bible scripture at the age of eight. And it said, you could become the lender and not the borrower. So I set on a, on a journey since I was at the young <laughs> age of eight years young to become the lender and not the borrower. However, once I actually got into this industry back in 013, I, I found that a lot of business owners and entrepreneurs, sometimes they did not quite meet the criteria of the lenders because there's specific underwriting requirements where an individual would, would I had to say, someone was calling in, uh, where they quite, didn't quite meet that criteria for financing. It could be whether it be from credit to collateral to setting up your business correctly. So a system and a service that I actually added under my umbrella would be business credit. And especially since COVID started last year, lenders are more stricter with their underwriting guidelines. So many individuals, they're not getting the, the financing that they previously did and business credit is a tool for business owners to be able to access that capital that they would not normally be able to get approved for. And so, it also allows an individual to set their company up the correct way. So a lot of so, folks and business owners think that, uh, yeah, business credit, it's, it's much too difficult and they don't even bother. What, what are the big challenges and obstacles that they face to be set up the right way and to, to meet the criteria? The big challenges and, and obstacles that they, they may face would be lack of information, the lack of knowledge. And once you have that knowledge, it's one thing to have the knowledge. That's like having a book on a shelf. The knowledge is there. But if you do not apply the knowledge and say like some, some of the information that a business owner may not have, even before I learned about business credit and to be able to build it for my company, I did not know in order like, of course, to grow and scale a business, uh, OPM, other people's money is, is definitely needed. So I did not know that lenders would look for uh, whether you have a 1-800 number. They, they view your business as it being credible. I, I know initially I started off on, on Gmail. Do not have a Gmail or a Yahoo account. Make sure your email, so I'll give you an example. Say like my company's Alicia Clark Funding LLC. My email is Alicia at Alicia Clark Funding. And then that you just need a simple little website. It can be like a $200 website. So my website is aliciaclarkfunding.com. So matching all of that information across the board or a lot of business owners, they use their uh, residential address or a PO box. That's a big no-no if you're seeking to build your business credit and also go for financing because lenders deem that as you're not a credible business. So get a, a commercial deliverable address or a virtual mail post office box uh, address. So those are some of the, the items where an individual, especially with building business credit to be able to proceed for financing in the correct way, that's lack, some of the lack of information that a business owner would not uh, actually know if, if you didn't have an expert to teach them those little things might be very surprising for folks to realize that just something as simple as being credible, like nobody, who would have thought that an 800 number is just another checkbox of uh, credibility, so to speak. Those little things, really great information. So Alicia, what about, you know, folks that really like, yeah, I, I can really can get, 
you know, business credit and grow my business credit, but I don't know where to start. Like, what are the stepping stones that you would have them start with if they've never done this before? Where do they start? Well, I actually, I'm great, glad that you said that a business credit, it's a seven step process with four different tiers. And say like for an individual to actually get started, say like level one is called business credibility. So say like if a person is starting from ground zero, they, they may not even have a business. You would want to, what's your, what's your business idea? Get your business idea. What's your business name? You can go to irs.gov. Many individuals, they don't realize you can go there and get your free EIN. Many consultants, they charge for that. <laughs> uh, let's see what else. Oh, oh, your business banking out. That's another thing. Even, even though some individuals may start from ground zero, there's business owners that have been in business for three, four, five years, and they do not have a business bank account. And lenders deem now, especially since COVID, when you open up your business bank account as when you actually have incorporated your business. So those previous three, four, five years that you've been in business, that doesn't even mean anything to the lender. So that's also huge. Um, the the one eight hundred number, listing the one eight hundred number, making sure your your address is congruent across the board from the Secretary of State, um, your uh, mailing address. Remember, stay off home home addresses and PO boxes. Make sure you get a, a deliverable commercial address. Um, listing your one eight hundred number on four one one. Uh, your website, your email to match. Uh, I mean, it's, 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 it's like business credibility level one, it's 125 items on a checklist to actually go through. So to, you know, really list off those 125 items, but that would be a systematic process where an individual can start from ground zero. At the end of this conversation, will you be able to direct them to a website where they can get the rest of the, the checklist, for example, and, and get your guidance? Uh, well, if they would like the checklist, then that, that's a part of my service. So okay. they can contact me for, for more detailed information and I can send them um, how we would work with a business owner from start to finish and I can give them a presentation. But to actually give them the checklist, that's the actual work for, from my company and my team. Understood. Totally understood. So Alicia, what are some of the things, you know, with lenders being sticklers and even more so today, what are some of the things that you find are that they say yes to a lot that what are what do they like to fund versus what are the things that they absolutely stay away from funding? Um, where they would like to fund number one, even though say like with business credit, an individual can build business credit if they have a 500, 600 personal credit score. Why? Because your business credit is tied to your EIN and your personal credit is tied to your social security number. But if an individual did not build their business credit, they, they strictly would like to obtain financing based off their bit, what their, where their business is currently at and their FICO score, strong FICO scores. Lenders usually will fund a business with a 680 a FICO score and above across the board. But I usually tell a lot of individuals a minimum of 700 and above. And it, what you get qualified for also depends on what is on your credit report. So then also some lenders may not uh, go off of your, your FICO score. They go for, go, they can go down as low as 500 as long as you have the cash flow. So it's like three major areas of financing, your credit, your um, cash flow, and your capacity to pay it back or oh, well for and your collateral so if you got really one of those four in your business then lenders may take on your business and provide the fi necessary financing needed so it sounds like one of the first steps is if really if they haven't done so already if you're a solopreneur is to get that ein so you can start establishing that that fico score for that ein is that right exactly yes so alicia Take us back a little bit. What inspired you? You told us a little bit of a story when you were eight years old, but what really got you to where you are now, where you're helping others, uh, you know, funding their business? Uh, what inspired you? How'd you get started? What inspired me I, as at the age of eight, I always wondered, like when I would go to different doctor's offices when I was young, there would be wealth magazines. 
And so I would see uh, various women dressed up in business suits and it seemed like they were just jet setting around the world. And I'm like, I wonder what did they do? And me coming from a small town, Danville, Illinois, I knew that was, I knew in my heart, that was not the life that I wanted. My dad worked at General Motors. My mom was a homemaker. And, and in my mind, I was like, I'm too cute to work at a factory. So <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm just being honest. I did not want to work at a factory, nor really did I want to work for someone else. So even before I started in financing of 013, I've always had multiple streams of income. Even as a child, I selling candy, selling ice cream until I got into my teenage years. In high school, I was always selling items. I ended up selling uh, shoes and purses and oils. I already knew I wanted to work for myself and I, I definitely wanted to, to have that freedom. I just did not want to be told what to do. And back in 013, I, I had an opportunity to get in financing. And back in 013, I started with uh, merchant cash advances. And I grew from mer just doing solely merchant cash advances. And I just grew and more individuals heard about me. And then of course, growing my, my sphere on sp social media, like especially LinkedIn. And then lenders started coming after me, asking me if I wanted to represent their money. And, and so I just, I just grew from there. Fascinating story, Alicia. It really, you could really tell you have the entrepreneur in your heart. So uh, tell us for folks listening right now that resonate and say, I really could use to build my business credit. If they'd like to learn more and connect with you and perhaps work together with you, tell us uh, what you can do together and where they should go to contact you. Well, what we can do together, first and foremost, I usually set up a conference call to learn that business owner or entrepreneur, or if an individual works a nine to five, to learn their needs, because that's what I've learned in being in business. We're like a, a plumber. We're, we're going to the individual, the individual's home, and we have to fill in where those holes are. So I listen to fill in where your holes are and where you desire to go. And then that's where I can tell you, okay, well, we at Alicia Clark Funding, me and my team, we can help you with this and this and this. We, we lead you down that blueprint. So now then it's up to that individual whether they desire to proceed forward or not. Or they can go to find someone else to help them in that area. But we go on and open up their mind to the options and the benefits like, okay, this, this is possible. I can, I can really play this multi-million dollar game with the resources and the knowledge that she's given me. And so if, if an individual would like to contact me, um, I'm on all social media. I'm on LinkedIn as Alicia D. Clark. That's A-L-I-C-I-A. D is in dollar, C-O-L-A-R-K. Um, you can call my business line, 1-888-568-7718, extension 101. Uh, I just have a simple little website. It's aliciaclarkfunding.com or just, just connect with me on all social media. Alicia, this has been terrific, very sage advice, and I appreciate you taking the time and sharing with my audience today. I wish you continued success for you and for all of your clients. Thank you so much for having me. Um, it, it's definitely been a blessing, and we'll definitely have to connect because I fly in and out of Chicago a lot. Absolutely. Alicia Clark, founder of Alicia Clark Funding, LLC. And this segment's been brought to you by booksgrowbusiness.com. It's the place where busy entrepreneurs, professionals, and business owners publish to grow their businesses and to leave a legacy. That's all for now. I'm Mark Imperial, and thanks for tuning in.